just like the grid, the ASPX tree list control also supports displaying summary values in the footer of each column. In this video, you'll learn how to create and display a summary item in the footer of the grid control. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX tree list control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the departments table of the departments.mdb database. First, I need to enable the tree list footer to display the summary item on it. To do so, I select the grid, expand its settings property, and set the show footer property to true. Next, I'm going to create a new summary item. For the purposes of this lesson, I'm going to create a summary item in the footer to display the sum of all the values within the budget column. I invoke the summary collection editor. Here, I can add and remove summary items for the grid. I click on the button to add a new summary item. On the right, I set its field name property to budget. This will use the values in the budget column. For summary type, I'll use sum to get a total summary value. I'll set the display format property to C2. This will display the summary value as a currency with two decimal places. And finally, the show in column property will specify under which column to display the summary item. Since the values in the budget column are being used, I'll set it to display under the same column. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. Let me first expand all the tree nodes. You can see that all the values with the budget column have been added together and the calculated summary item is displayed on the tree list footer. For more information, please refer to the ASPX tree list documentation. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.